When you have three Emmy Award winning actress Christina Applegate, she is battling multiple sclerosis. The Bad Moms actress announcing that she's known it for months. The 49 year old says it has been a tough road, but the overwhelming support keeps her going. Now, joining us to talk about this live right now about this diagnosis is Dr. Scott Blumenthal. He is a medical director of neurology at Delray Medical. Doctor, it's great to have you on the show. Let's break down what it is, right? So first, tell us what is multiple sclerosis? Yeah, multiple sclerosis is a chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease of the central nervous system. By this, I mean it involves the brain and spinal cord. It basically attacks the myelin, which is a protective covering of the nerve fibers, which affects the transmission of electric signals to the rest of the body. Now, is this common? And if it is, how, how common is it? Yeah, it's not uncommon. About a million Americans suffer with multiple sclerosis. It's much more common in young females. And so what are some of the signs? Can you explain also the symptoms? It really depends on the location in the nervous system. It can cause numbness, tingling, weakness, balance, bladder dysfunction. There's a, some of the common symptoms. So how do you know, you know, when you experience this, do you have to contact your doctor? I mean, it can't not always be this. So I guess when is the right time to contact your doctor? Um, just well, sure. sure. Any, any of these symptoms of the central nervous system can be concerning, and it can be mim other mimics that can look like it. So it's always good to be checked out, and any appropriate testing will be arranged. So is there a cure for MS at the moment? Right now, there's no cure, but there's, there's treatments which have, there's been an explosion of new medicines over the last few decades, from about four medications in the 90s to 23 different medications now. What are some of the management options? I'm sure there's plenty available at the moment. Yeah, so I usually approach it with a, a three-pronged approach. I mean, the first prong to me is always diet, exercise, staying active, moving your body. The second is a, many new disease-modifying medications which can suppress this immune attack on the nervous system. And the third is just treating the symptoms of MS, whether it's depression, spasticity, pain, tingling, depression, all these have symptomatic management, which can help. All right, talking about what multiple sclerosis is and the signs and symptoms to look out for is Dr. Scott Blumenthal, the Medical Director of Neurology at Delray Medical Center. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me.